What is going on YouTube? Prepared Wander out in the woods today and I've got a pack review for you. We're going to be looking at the Roaring Fire Slingshot Sling Bag. This thing is awesome. Can't wait to share it with you so please stick around. So I just got this pack in from Roaring Fire. They uh, contacted me and said would you would you, or asked, would you please check out our sling pack? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'd love to. I'm always interested in new packs. I have no, uh, you know, knowledge of Roaring Fire other than that they make a really cool tool roll that I've been seeing all over YouTube. And I've been wanting to check that out. So when they contacted me at the sling pack, I was like, yeah, definitely I want to check this thing out. Um, love sling packs, have a, a few in my arsenal, use them for short hikes uh, here and there. And uh, I wanted to check this one out, and I was really surprised. And I'm going to get into that, why I'm so surprised, and, and try to give you uh, an idea of what I'm talking about. But first of all, let's take a look at this thing um, uh, up close. So here's the pack itself. It is very uh, reminiscent of other sling packs as, as that it has a single strap that goes across your chest and then it has a, um, a second strap that comes around your waist and helps uh, stabilize the load. So let's take this thing off, take a look at it, and you can really see this thing up close. Alright, so here's the pack itself. Uh, just a couple of specs on it. It's 18 liters. Um, it's made from a 1000D Cordura. It has uh, Fastex style buckles all around, YKK zippers. It has 550 cord pull, zipper pulls on it. Um, so right off the bat, it's made from quality material. This is not a cheap pack. This is not a cheaply made pack. And I want to emphasize that because this is what where I for me, it started to impress me is how well made this pack is and the materials uh, of it and the design of it um, really sets it apart from some of the other manufacturers out there. There's a lot of these packs on the market right now that are coming um, from overseas that are just super cheaply made. Uh, they're made from uh, really inferior quality uh, nylon materials. Uh, it's not one of those. This is definitely a far and above and beyond that. And the price point is really not bad for the size pack you're getting. This is runs at about 60 bucks on Roaring Fire and on Amazon. So check those out. I'll have links down below for you. And you can look at the pack in, in more detail. So from the outside, it looks like a pretty typical sling pack. 18 liters right off the bat it has a feature that i've not seen on a lot of other sling packs and that is an expandable water bottle pocket some will have water bottle pockets but they're not expandable and that's what what i mean by that is you can take the water bottle out and zip up that pocket and make it flat so it's out of the way or if you want to store something that's flatter or longer, you can put it in here and not necessarily put a water bottle in there, but it does fit this Camelback water bottle perfectly. Um, I will say that it does not fit larger water bottles like a Nalgene, but it does fit the Camelbacks and some of the uh, skinnier stainless bottles that you can get, or the bicycle style water bottle. Those uh, tend to fit in here really well with enough room that you can slide it in and out. Of course, we got our prepared wander sticker on our bottle. Got to have that. Outside the pack he has a compression strap right here. And that helps stabilize the load and bring everything in to get in into the pack. There's a pocket on the outside, and if you will notice right away, it has orange lining, a nice nylon orange lining. So you can see inside that pocket. I've got a notebook in there from Tough Possum Gear. Up top on this pocket, there's a Velcro field. There's also a bungee cord so you can put a jacket or something lightweight under there. Open this top pocket up, dual zippers. Open it up, bam. Nice, bright orange lining. 
There's a slip pocket right here and here. I got a space blanket. Got some knot tying cards in there. And then this pocket is kind of a grab all pocket, a mesh pocket. Got my chapstick. Got a lighter. And I've got my cordage card from Tough Possum Gear. Now we go into the main compartment of the, of the pack. Dual zippers once again. Comes about halfway down the pack. Opens up. Another pocket. This pocket has organization which you can use to put like a flashlight. I got my spork in here. I got a ferro rod. So longer, skinnier items fit up here. Back Inside the pack, there is another slip pocket, perfect for a small water bladder. I've got my SE3. And a first aid kit. This pack is enough space in it that I'm actually able to get a poncho tarp. And my cook kit. I got a small cook kit. This is my uh, Wild Camping International Titanium Pot. Fits right in there perfectly. No, no problem getting that stuff in there. I've got lots of room in this pack. It's amazing. Now if I take this stuff out, flip this around, I want you to see that there's a zipper pocket, mesh pocket, on the inside. And I've just got some 550 cord in there right now. So plenty of storage. This thing has storage, space, and organization um, like none other. Uh, most of these packs are just open and there's really not much to them. Or if they are, they're not very well organized and they're definitely made from uh, cheaper materials. But man, this thing is nice. This main pocket down here, double zippers once again. Pull that all the way down. More organization, like an admin panel, key keeper, elastic, so you can put your pens, mags, knives, whatever. This bag, I have it set up for hiking today, because that's what I'm out doing, but it would make a perfect EDC bag uh, for somebody who has to carry a bag every day. It would definitely fit a notebook or a small iPad, uh, cords, pens and all that stuff. Of course there's Molly sewn to the front up here and here. There is Molly down the sides on this side so you can add your own pouches. I've added this compass pouch from the military. This has got my ESPIT stove in it. So plenty of options to to customize the bag to your liking. D-rings up top so you can attach things. I've got uh, some hand sanitizer and I got like a little identification tab that's reflective. Moving along to the back, very common standard kind of um, shoulder strap, but this thing um, compared to other sling packs is very stiff and I like that because it actually grips my body really well. Um, it doesn't feel cheap or chintzy. So there's a built-in pocket right here on the on the shoulder strap. You could actually fit in your pocket knife, carry your pocket knife there if you wanted to, or maybe a small flashlight. A couple D-rings so you can hang stuff. There's also elastic right here. This is a good loop to, to run your, your uh, hydration uh, tube out of the back of the pack and down the, the uh, strap. Here's the D-ring that the additional uh, stabilization strap attaches to. Of course, there's a quick-release buckle. Plenty of room for adjustment. I'm a big guy, able to wear this pack easily, get it on. Plenty of adjustment for my size. Um, definitely is going to work for anybody um, out there. Now here's another interesting feature about this bag that's different than all the other bags. A lot of the other bags in this size category will have an open back um, 
and have a place for a pistol and there's usually just an open pocket. This one actually has a zipper pocket and has a velcro lined pocket that goes all the way back so you can store a pistol back here very easily. And I think that's a great feature. So if you're into CCW, concealed carry, you like to carry a, a pistol off your body into a pack, uh, this, this would be a good option. Uh, plenty of padding back here. Um, Velcro, it's got that material that a Velcro holster will stick to very easily. Super nice. And once again, YKK zippers. You can get into it pretty quick. So if you got to carry your pistol off body, this may be a great option. So that's it for the pack. Um, that's pretty much everything, taking a look at it in depth. Um, I don't know what more I can say other than I'm really impressed with this pack. I'm really happy that Roaring Fire chose me and sent me this pack and let me take a look at. Um, I would not be giving it such a glowing review if I didn't like it. Um, I love it and it uh, carried very comfortably. Um, and I'm really impressed with the organization and the pocket layouts. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up and have um, some coffee. And uh, you guys can take a look at that. My new favorite coffee out. <clears throat> Love this stuff. Get it on Amazon. Copico Brown Coffee. It's got the uh, creamer and the sugar all blended in. So you just add it to hot water and you're ready to go. not too cold out today. It's probably in the 30s. Not bad. Get that water heated up, have a little coffee, warm myself up from the inside out. <clears throat> so what do you guys think about this pack? Uh, just kind of leave some comments down below. Uh, 
good hot coffee. Well, that's it for today. I wanted to show you the Roaring Fire Pack. Please stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you click that uh, bell icon down below so you get notifications when a new video is uploaded. I'm going to be trying to uh, get more and more videos out. I'd like to get more than one a week if I can. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing and work and all that kind of stuff. But definitely going to try. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure, make sure you check out the Facebook group and Instagram. Lots of extra content on those two avenues. And as always, thank you for watching The Prepared Wanderer. We'll see you.